Yo, what's going on, 67 Under Squad? Today we're here doing a custom 1v1 in the PTS again. And this one is just going to be a little, um, a little Excel game. I, I never got to do the first look because when she was released, I was on vacation. So, you know, this is, I guess, my first look at her. Excel. When, uh,. My first, this is actually my first look at her in duel. I've never played her in duel. I've played her in like slash and assault and that's it. <laughs> no, and arena, but I've never played her in conquest. I never played her in duel, anything like that. Um, so, so yeah, that's that. And I just wanted to see how she's good. If she's good, I should say, um, I don't know. Her hair is so weird because like from the back, it looks like it's so thick, but then you like turn her and it looks so thin. Like it's just a little, little thin thingy. Oh, that's a sick skin. The Illuminator Baron skin. I like the card art a lot. Is that new? I don't think it's new. It sounds familiar, but it looks sick. Let's just do a normal start here. Not get super crazy with it. Um, I probably want to max my two. Because maxing my two increases healing too. But maybe I just put... Well, I, I think I put one point in everything in the start for sure. But I don't know what I do... I don't know. Personally, I really like maxing the two, but I think maxing the one is technically better. Bless me. Jeez Louise. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at her pull the light out of her staff. That's sick. I've never seen that before. Minions have spawned. I don't know if she's good in duel or not. I'm excited for the patch to come out on... What is it, Tuesday or Wednesday? My damage is not great, but that's okay. That's okay. It doesn't need to be great. My clear is actually good, though. I missed. Look at that damage. Look at that damage, dude. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Why am I pumping so many zombies? What just happened? Why did I do so much damage? I feel like I just hit everything. I just slapped. Okay, you run. I missed. I missed. Dang it. I don't think he can kill me, can he? Oh. Dang, did he get all his cooldowns back up that quick? I thought I would live. I got the blue. I think he did get his cooldowns up. Uh, he must have horn sharded, but I couldn't see. Because I positioned the blue buff in front of me. That's probably what happened. That's alright, though. No big deal. I'm really liking Ick Shell. Little, little Icky Shell duel, dude. Ah, eh, decent damage. Not great. Man, she is extremely mana hungry, though. My goodness. I guess I just go Genji's here because I really need uh, I really need mana, like MP5, and Genji's gives you forty of it. 
Once I get Genji's, I shouldn't have mana issues. But we'll see. Yeah, she's actually really fun to play, man. I'm I'm sad that I missed her release. It would have been so sick to play her when everyone else was like getting getting the hang of her. Yeah. Do not mind me. Honestly, dude, you can have the red buff. I really do not care. I'm trying a new style of play with her, by the way, in case you couldn't tell. I'm leveling my three and my one and going for burst damage instead of sustainable fights with my two. Will it work? I honestly don't know. But I guess we'll find out. Let's see. It is too easy. Um... I want his blue buff really, really badly. But I feel like if I stay and greed, I'm just going to die. Like, I already died once greeting for that thing. That being said, I'm going to run straight for it. I don't think I'll be able to make it, but we'll see. Oh, let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. The move speed for my three is so goaded. 20%. That's impeccable. Oh. I missed everything. I missed everything again. And again. He shelled and horn charted. I will say, dude, that one cooldown, a little ridiculous. A little ridiculous. And by ridiculous, I mean like very, very fast. Oh, man. Oh, dang it, dude. Dang it, dude. I knew I could kill him with that ult, but I didn't know if I'd be able to live. And I thought, you know what? Screw it. Give it a shot. Try it out. I wonder if they changed it to where your three gave you more movement speed when you leveled it. If that'd be too busted. Just to be fair, it is 40% movement speed. As is. Are you there? You are. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Oh, and now I got the, the dual orb. But I can just cheese. It's not as good as on, on a mage, is it? It's not bad, but... It is nowhere near as good. See, he went Book of Thoth, but that's a bad item now. They reduced the damage of it from 100 to 70, and they reduced the passive from 10% to 7 so they just nerfed the entire thing by 30% damage, basically. It's pretty terrible. I don't know why they wouldn't, like, go a more smooth route with the nerf. 
Maybe make it like 9% at first. Take it from 100 to 90 power and 10% to 90%. But they just went straight for, ah, let's make it useless. <laughs> that was their whole thing, man. Jeez, I can press so many buttons so quickly, dude. I missed. Uh oh. Ouch. I kind of thought he would turn, believe it or not. But he didn't. That's all right. I'll take your blue buff. And we'll get Rod. Uh, and the Calamitous Rod actually works really, really well on her because if your first hit is either your three or your two, then Calamitous Rod hits. So... It's a very, very good item. All right, rude. I missed. My poor, poor attack speed, man. Just healing with my two a little bit. You know how it goes. Oh, I'm actually dead here, by the way. Thank goodness he didn't want to fight me. The moon shall guide you. Can I do Bull Demon is the question. No is probably the answer, but never going to find out unless I try, right? Oh, Lordy, he's coming. Bro, what are these buttons I'm pressing? So oh, what is that damage? Oh, I didn't even pick up the orb. I swear when PTS comes out, like actually patch, if they don't have a buff icon for dual orb yet, I'm going to lose my mind. If you don't know what dual orb is, uh, you should make sure to check out my other videos. It's how, it's how I'm stunning the tower after getting a kill. Nice. Okay. Oh, almost, man. Greedy boy. Greedy boy. He was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to defend my Phoenix. I couldn't have taken it anyways. It's not like I've backed him. I haven't backed in quite some time, you know? I actually don't even think I can take this, by the way. Oh my gosh. Well, that was extremely close. My goodness. Let's go Staff of Meriden now. That'll cap off my cooldown and then I can go Poly. Second Relic, I'm still going to keep Horn Shard because, dude, when you pop Horn Shard and, uh, and you're just in a rotation of abilities, it's insane. <laughs> Her one really doesn't have a cooldown. If you're hitting it on an enemy god, and it really doesn't feel like a cooldown. I missed because I'm bad. Okay. Like, what is that, dude? What is that?
This character is nuts. Like, I don't even know what to say, man. It just seems like, what are you supposed to do against her? You know, like, what are you supposed to do against that? My burst is ridiculous. It goes stupid. I missed. Unlucky. Missed again. Hit that one. Like, dude, he's walking up, casting one set of abilities, just getting clapped and having to run away again. Like, what? What is this? I mean, okay. This is stupid. I never knew she was this good in a dual setting. I never knew she was this good in a dual setting. He couldn't play the game. I land my root and I burst for at minimum 1.5k. At minimum 1.5k. That's that's crazy. I'm just gonna say now. On patch day, when she's released, I'm queuing six hours to eight hours. Purely Ixchel. You ban her or you lose to me. That's it. That's it. That's I'm warning you. This is my warning to you, everybody out there. Don't queue when this launches. And if you do, ban Ixchel. If you queue and you don't ban Ixchel, I'm going to beat you with her. That's just how it works. Sorry. I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.